Hey, what is that, Six Beasts? My name is Shadowfax and or Louise, whichever you want to call me. And today, we got a little bit of something different. We've got some Black Ops 1 Hardcore. I don't know which gameplay I'm going to use yet. It could be Team Deathmatch or it could be Search and Destroy, whichever sort of fits the length of the video that I am making. But yeah, guys, um, I the other night was playing and I thought, you know, fuck it, I'm fed up with this futuristic shit. I just want to go back to some old, regular, slow paced. <laughs> Call of Duty, and oh, fuck me, is it slow paced compared to the new ones? But I had so much fun, and I played hardcore so for about the last year or so. I've really got into hardcore, and I played it, and I was mainly against Americans. Like, I don't think I've, I think I've met one English person in the entire time that I was playing. It was all Americans, but yeah, no, it was actually quite good fun. Uh, playing hardcore, they were sweaty as fuck, but you know, it was it was quite a nice, it was a nice change of pace to play a slower paced game. It was, it was quite nice, and, and I do see that a lot of people are complaining about Modern Warfare Remastered and stuff like that, but I think that you've got a lot of people that are relatively new to the franchise coming over and they've not really played these older, older Call of Duties, so then they try it and they find how much slower it is and they just can't stand it. I think that's one of the reasons, and then they either just don't play it and like shit on it, or they do play it, but they play it campy as fuck because they just have no idea how to play it. So, which, you know, you do have to in these in these older Call of Duties kind of be a bit campy, but you just gotta play slower, basically. Just play how you would. Like you can still rush in them, you just gotta be a bit slower about it. But I don't think these new people really get it, so yeah. But I still haven't got Modern Warfare remastered. I'm refusing to buy it until they bring it out separately, like because I'm not gonna pay for a game. That I don't even, I'm not even gonna play at all. Infinite Warfare. I'm not gonna play that game at all. So I'm not gonna pay for it if I'm not gonna play it. You know, I haven't got money. You know, money doesn't grow on trees. So yeah, that's uh, that's my thoughts and feelings on it. But yeah, going back to a slower pace Call of Duty. So much fun. Uh, I played it on the Xbox One because of course it's backwards compatible, and I had a whale of the time. I really did. I wish I could play Black Ops 2, but for some reason my uh, my PC, I've got Black Ops 2 on the PC and for some reason it doesn't want to launch it. It just, well no, it'll launch it, it just won't go online. It's the only game it does it to, so I don't know what's wrong. And then Black Ops 2 on the 360, well my 360's dying, so I'm not even sure that's even worth trying to start up. But anyway guys, what I wanted to talk about today is, I saw Oliver Cole's uh, video last night, exposing the Pro Gamer J, Exility and a few others. And he was exposing them for, basically, the way they get their views is they're exploiting the new YouTube algorithm by taking tags from successful videos and copying them straight to theirs. And I was a little bit like, is that it? I was kind of expecting a little bit more from this video. This video was quite hyped up. I was kind of expecting more. And apparently it's against YouTube's terms of service. I haven't looked over the terms of service, so I wouldn't really know. But probably is. But I was kind of like, is it that much of a big deal? Really? Like, if you are a content creator, you cannot say that you have never ever at some point in your YouTube career um, copied something of someone else. Whether it be their title, their tags, uh, their thumbnail style, you know, you can't ever say that you have never done something on YouTube that is either a little bit frowned upon or it's just straight out copying or something like that. I, I will be the first to admit I have done shit like that before. Back in the day when I was first starting YouTube, my goal was to get is exposure and get people to watch my videos and so I copied tags from other people's videos and I even put bigger YouTubers names in my tags and did it work? Fuck no. So you know and I eventually stopped doing it and and, and then I found it was it and then I found it was even frowned upon. Do you know what I mean? I didn't even know it was frowned upon when I when I did it. Um, I didn't even really think about it. I didn't think about whether it'd be frowned upon or not. I just just did it. And, you know, and I think the majority of us have done something like that in the past. You know, do I do it now? No. But I have done it in the past. You know, and if I see a tag that is working well for someone, then I might use it. Do you know what I mean? I can't really, you know, okay, it's a little bit of a, a shitty thing, but whatever. What I don't agree with is misleading tags. If you're putting a tag for banana in your video and there is absolutely nothing about bananas in your video, then that's misleading and I don't think that's right. Um, but that's just, that goes hand in hand with the clickbait. I've made a video before about good clickbait versus bad clickbait. You know, if your title and your thumbnail is about tits and then in the video, the video is not, there's no tits to be seen, then that is a bad clickbait. That is a bad misleading clickbait. 
if you and your title and your thumbnail is about boobs and then in the video you have a big set of boobs then it's not because you are delivering what you promised through the title and the thumbnail when you are doing a title and a thumbnail you are promising the person something you are do you are your whole point of your title and your thumbnail is to make it catchy is to make it interesting is to make people see it and want to click on your video that is the whole point of it that really is and if you are then not delivering what that title and that thumbnail have promised then that is bad clickbait and that is misleading and that's not on and that is just wasting everyone's time but if you are delivering what the thumbnail and the title has promised then that's 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 fine there's n absolutely nothing wrong with that even you know it doesn't matter because that is the whole point of the title and the thumbnail is to make it catchy and to catch people's interest and make them want to click on that video basically my point is i think the pro gamer j and Exility have done much worse through their clickbaiting than they have of copying other people's tags. I really, I really do feel. I do know that they do, that both the pair of them do misleading tags, which is not on, but I think they've done worse through their clickbait rather than just copying someone's tags because they've got a relatively successful video. But anyway, guys, that has been it from me. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree? And I will see you sexy beasts in the next one. I love you guys. Bye.